Hey everybody, it's me! Um, in this video, I am going to show everybody who has been asking me where they can get um, fake fur. Fur, fur suits and whatnot because um, my how to make a fursuit video or how to make a fursuit tail video has gotten a lot of views and a lot of comments and the comments that are mostly presented are where can I buy fur? Where can I buy fur? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to show you where you can buy fur. Well, where I bought my fur. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Hold on. I'm going to let you see my desktop. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so this is my How to Make a Fursuit Tail video. And a lot of people basically ask... <laughs> where they get fur. So the number one place that I get fur is distinctivefabrics.com. This is the only place, well not the only place, one of two places that I've ordered my fur online. Um, because they send you free swatches of whatever you want for free <laughs> and that is a big thing for me because I don't wanna pick a fur and then have it get here and not wanna use it because it's super shitty and have spent all that money and I don't think they return fur or whatever I mean I couldn't imagine them not cause they're like super nice about things but yeah so if you're going to buy fur online I recommend distinctivefabric.com right here. I've um, ordered, I don't even remember, um, for my Wargle fursuit, I think, I don't even know, they may not have it anymore. It was a while ago when I ordered, but it wasn't fur. It was like a minky sort of fabric, but it wasn't too furry. Um, and they sent me free swatches and everything, and it was amazing. And then um, my friend Misty has ordered um, like black and white and orange from here, and it's like amazing quality. I have some of the orange with me if you guys want to see it, and they have a lot of categories and whatnot and their prices actually aren't that bad and as you can see a lot of the stuff is on clearance like all of the time which is really convenient for people who are making for full fursuits um, another place where I've had friends order is fabric.com and they have um, some interesting patterns I guess they only have one page and it's not really expensive so I'm not very sure like how good of quality these are and you can order swatches but I'm pretty sure they're not free um and I mean you can always go to Google and like type in where to get fur or whatever um What I do, and cog fabrics, um, when I lived in the springs, basically, um, I wouldn't order for online because I had, like, I had a Joann's and I had a Hancock Fabrics, like, right down the freaking street. Um, so... If you're going to get fur from Joann's, I don't suggest ordering it online. I suggest going to the store and actually looking at it. Um, a lot of the fur at Joann's was really, really low quality fur. So if you're on a budget making a fursuit, then go to Joann's and they'll have something really shitty that you could throw on yourself. Um, I have never bought 
for okay no that was a lie um I bought fur from Joann's once and I haven't used it and it's really really short piled and it's brown almost like this one but when you brush it a certain direction it has like this gorgeous orange underneath I don't, know, I don't know when the hell I'm going to use it, but I bought it because it was so gorgeous, and I think it was on sale. Um, but yeah, most of Joann's furs are really, really shit quality. Um, but most of their, like, minky short pile stuff are okay. But the main reason I don't shop at Joann's is because it's really fucking expensive. Like, I never buy anything from Joann's because it's so fucking expensive. And that is why I go to Hancock Fabrics. Um, I have a Hancock Fabrics right down the street from me in the Springs. And um, they have an okay fur section. They have a lot of prints, like tiger prints, leopard print, zebra print, fur that's long pile, if you're looking for something like that. Um, and they also have um, my werewolf fursuit that I made. That brown fabric was um, bought at Joann's and, um, or at Hancock Fabrics. Her, um, Hancock Fabrics isn't really expensive. That's what I love about it. Um, and the fur, you can get really high quality fur there or you can get really low quality fur there. It just really depends on um, when you're going and what they have in. Um, the short pile stuff that they have, or like the medium pile if you want to call it even that, is usually really, really nice quality and it's not really expensive. Um, though if you're getting into like the weird colors, like um, one summer they had this really gorgeous kind of medium-ish short pile fur that was, oh my god, it was gorgeous and I was going to make a Barragon fur suit. And it was ridiculously expensive. It was like, I don't think it was $39 a yard, but that's what I remember it being. Maybe just because I was so crazy in love with it. And I was like, oh, it's probably really expensive. But it was really expensive. And I was like, lol, no. But the other reason why I love Hancock Fabrics is because they have, um, like, they have spring sales and they have annual sales and monthly sales and weekly sales. They have a lot of sales. Sales, sales, sales. So that's why I love Hancock Fabrics, and the foam there is really, really cheap, as well as the stuffing for tails and um, the elastic. So yeah, that's basically where you can get fur. Um, if you're going to order online for fur, I would say Distinctive Fabric, because their stuff is amazing. Make sure to order swatches first, so you like what you're getting. Um, if you are near somewhere, like you don't want to order online, I would definitely recommend finding in Hancock Fabrics and looking there. And if all else fails, you can go to Joann's and spend a million dollars on fur that's really crappy quality. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully that helps all of you guys with your questions and as I said if you don't want to use any of the sites or places that I told you about you can always look online like you can just google and I'm sure like people on eBay or Amazon even are selling fur that they don't need and I know a lot of fursuit makers who actually have scraps left over from the fursuits that they make that they sell so, there you go. I hope that helps a lot. And if I find any other places where you can get really good quality fur, I will make sure to tell you guys. I will make a little annotation somewhere on the screen or in the description telling you guys that I found a new place. But hopefully that helps you guys. And if you have any more questions, please ask them in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye!